Kerlock, first I want to thank the Minister, John Paul Phelan, for coming to the House to respond to this uh, commencement matter and to thank you for selecting it. And basically what I'm asking the Minister it really is to confirm the details that have been set by his department in consultation with the Chief Executives of all 31 local authorities in relation to the delivery of affordable housing. And we know, and it has been a major plank of the Rebuilding Ireland uh, policy that we would envisage, or the government would envisage, the rollout of a national affordable housing scheme. And it's disappointing to say that despite three years uh, on, uh, we do not have a national affordable housing scheme in place. And there are a number of reasons for that, and they're not all the Minister's fault either. But I think we need to keep the focus on, we need to deliver on both affordable housing uh, homes for purchase and affordable ha homes for renting, and particularly in the cities and in the Dublin area, uh, people know that there are great difficulties in terms of just renting a home at an affordable price and a sustainable price. So there is a national problem here and it needs to be addressed. A minister, it's come to my attention recently uh, that there was a draft affordable scheme for, of priorities uh, proposed uh, and brought by the management in Dunleary at Down County Council and I understand it was rejected across the political line, including your own party and others and none, uh, because they had what they described as major difficulties about the flexibility of the scheme. So I'm talking about the draft affordable scheme of priorities for affordable housing. So the arguments apparently are that there isn't sufficient uh, I I flexibility locally in terms of the charges uh, and, and other issues around all of that. So I think we have a difficulty and I would ask your department to specifically look at this particular local authority because the one I know best is the one I live in, it's the one I served in and this is only a very recent development uh, and I know you're aware of it. So we need to look at what are the pitfalls, what were the, uh, the, the concerns expressed by these elected members in this particular council and I understand it was unanimous across the board so they raised concerns I don't know the legitimacy of those concerns. I don't know the detailed reasoning behind them. I understand that the Director of Housing in this particular council sent back the draft report with comments to the Minister, and the Minister now will have to come back at some point to the Council. But mindful that in most local authorities there will only be one more Council meeting before these councils will change. Some of them won't be elected, some will be elected, but there'll be substantial changes across the 31 local authorities, no doubt, after the local elections. So it's back to the key issue, the substantive issue, is this affordability? And what are the government's specific targets set? Because I think we've got to talk about targets otherwise, and keep monitoring these targets, otherwise we're not going to see the delivery of what is affordable homes to purchase and affordable homes to rent. So, Minister, it's over to you, and maybe you might enlighten me further. But I would specifically ask you if you wouldn't mind taking back to the Minister uh, uh, that we might look at Dunleary at Down um, specifically, because it's one, the only one I know that has been actually sent back to the Minister at this point, and maybe there are lessons to be learned from it, or maybe there aren't, but I think we should, we, we should look at that, because if everybody is rejecting a scheme of priorities and holding up an affordable scheme in the local authority, that has to be an issue of concern both to the government and to the local authority in question. Thank you, Senator Boyne. Minister. Thank you, um, Chair. Uh, I'm, thanks, Senator, for raising the issue and I'm taking it on behalf of, of Minister Owen Murphy. I, having read through the response that's provided by the Department, I'm not sure if it will deal um, with some of the issues that uh, Senator Boyne has raised, but um, nonetheless, um, one of the government's key priorities is to address issues of housing affordability. To this end, a multi-stranded approach is being taken to support those low to middle income households in achieving home ownership. Um, in terms of affordable purchase, last year my colleague Minister Murphy commenced the relevant provisions of Part 5 of the Housing Miscellaneous Provisions Act 2009. Uh, this provided a statutory basis for the delivery of the affordable housing purchase scheme. Minister Murphy also made regulations last month uh, on, foot of local authorities, um, on, on foot of which now, uh, local authorities are now moving ahead to develop their schemes of priority, uh, which they will use to manage the allocation of affordable housing that becomes available in their areas. 
The €310 million Euro service site fund, which was announced in the last budget, uh, with the core objective of achieving significant delivery of affordable housing, under the service site fund at least 6,200 affordable homes will be facilitated over the next three years. As part of the first tranche of this funding in December 2018, 10 projects were approved for €43 million Euros of funding under the, the service site fund's first call for proposals. This will result in the delivery of over 1,400 homes in urban centres with clear affordability challenges in locations across Cork and Dublin. Uh, details of these schemes and their locations are available on the Rebuilding Ireland website and it is expected that the first tranche of affordable homes will come on stream next year. A second call for further applications under this fund was issued last week. As a result of this, 19 local authorities who carried out economic assessments which identified affordability issues in their areas will be in a position to make applications for funding support for a further bundle of projects to deliver uh, affordable homes to purchase or rent. Furthermore, some 2,350 affordable homes are in the process of being delivered on mainly publicly owned lands supported through the uh, Local Infrastructure Housing Activation Fund, or LIHAF. Uh, an additional 5,600 homes will benefit from a LIHAF related cost reduction, some of which are already coming to market. Again, details of these schemes and their locations are available on the Rebuilding Ireland website. Aside from affordable housing purchase options, the Government has also committed to supporting a new cost rental model. Under cost rental, the provider supplies accommodation and charges rents sufficient to cover the capital costs associated with delivery, along with the ongoing commitments related to the management and maintenance of the development. Cost rental is a model that is delivered at scale in a number of European countries, and over the long term it has been shown to help stabilise rent uh, cost fluctu fluctuations and deliver security of tenure. To drive delivery, a number of important cost rental pilot uh, projects are currently being advanced. These include the Enniskerry Road site in Dunleary Rathdown and, and the site of the former St Michael's Estate in Inchicore, where 50 and 330 homes respectively are to be developed. The contract for the work on the Enniskerry Road site is expected to be awarded uh, later in quarter two of this year. Separately, the Department is also engaging with the National Development Finance Agency, the European Investment Bank and the Land Development Agency on cost rental. This is with a view to examining the optimum funding and delivery options and establish a consistent national approach that will support delivery at scale in Dublin and in or other urban areas. The work on the Land Development Agency will also be of crucial importance in terms of delivering more affordable and cost rental housing. The initial portfolio of sites the agency has access to will have the potential over the short to medium term to deliver 3,000 affordable homes in line with the government policy of achieving 30% affordable housing on state lands generally. In parallel, the Dublin local authorities continue to progress a number of other significant house housing projects on publicly owned lands, including the redevelopment of O'Devany Gardens and a site on the Oscar Trainer Road in Dublin City, yielding approximately 280 affordable homes. Taken together, programmes are in place which, under which nearly 18,000 affordable homes or homes with a LIHAF related reduction will be delivered. In addition, it is important to note that in terms of affordability, over 11,200 households have been supported through the Rebuilding Ireland Home Loan and the Help to Buy scheme, demonstrating that the Government's commitment to using a range of mechanisms and, and initiatives to support households to address the affordability challenge, challenges that they face. On the specific issue um, that the Senator raises in relation to Dunleary Rat Down, um, uh, I, I don't have the full facts of it either, but. Uh, um, it would appear remarkable, um, unless there's some uh, glaringly obvious omission that a council would vote uh, not to approve a, 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 an affordable housing scheme in their area, particularly when Dunleary Rat Down as a local authority is one of those really crunch areas where affordability is a huge issue. Um, but I will endeavour to get a response um, from the Minister to the Senator directly as to, as to um, where it will be proceeded to from here. Thank you, Minister Phelan. Senator uh, Boyan. Yeah, ju just to be brief, I want to thank the Minister for coming in and, and taking this commencement matter. As I said, the real concern is, you know, having read those two pages, nowhere does it address the principal question which I asked was the targets. And why do I use that terminology, targets? I read a circular on RTE News uh, the other day 
uh, website where the Taoiseach is quoted directly in saying that he was, it was important that targets be set for the 31 local authorities. And nowhere in this response that's drawn up by a civil servant does it say that the targets, it doesn't address the targets. And they know we can keep saying we have problems, but if we don't set the targets and the delivery across the 31 local authorities, how can we measure it? And finally, just to say, for 14 years, I'm reminded by my colleague next door, sitting next to me here, Senator Michael McDougall, former Minister for Justice, 14 years ago, Shangana Castle was sold to the local authority for delivery. They've sat on it ever since, and they've done nothing about it. And we have a major affordability crisis. And also, we have the central mental hospital in Dundrum, sitting on approximately 36 uh, acres there, again state lands. These are two state sites I'm singling out, and neither of them have any major plans for the delivery of affordable housing. And I think the time has to be taken on now. We've got to deliver on these affordable houses for purchase and for rental. But I want to thank the Minister, and I would particularly ask him if he would convey to the necessary authorities down in the Customs House if they could come back to me, hopefully this week, with some explanation or rationale as to why Dunleary Rathdown could not accept or agree or find it in their way to agree some compromise for an affordable housing priority draft scheme. Thank, thank you, you, Senator Boyan. Minister? I don't have much of a response, I, I, other than to say I will relay that to the Minister. I mean, you were a member of Dunleary Rathdown Council until four years ago yourself, Senator. Um, so the Shangana site, oh, I know which I, I'm familiar with, yes. Um, but ultimately, in the delivery of, of local authority housing, it's the local authorities who are agree, supposed yeah. to be the primary drivers. Um, sometimes that's not always the case. But um, in, in the, as I understand it on the Shangana site, um, it may have the potential, I'm told here, for 540 homes yeah. overall. And only Rattown County Council is required to carry out a cost-benefit analysis and financial modelling exercise under the public spending code, which sounds like deeper um, language, um, to the uh, charter. <laughs> to, um, in terms of delivery. But I, I accept your point in relation yeah, to no, no, a no, site I, being owned yeah. for 14 years. Um, but uh, again, I'll ask the Minister in his response when he's dealing with Donnery Rat Down maybe to, to see where that lies in terms I of Shangana. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you,